I went bear mode and these are my results. Let's hop into it. So if you don't know what bear mode is already, let's go ahead and let Jeff Nipper tell you about it. Now the basic concept isn't really anything new. You basically eat in a heavy caloric surplus with the goal of gaining body weight at a pretty rapid pace. Now for me, bear mode was sort of my last option. I didn't know exactly what I was doing starting off working out. I started off at 115 pounds and I didn't know how to bulk correctly. It was absolutely impossible for me to get any food down. I didn't know what to do. And I thought that intermittent fasting was bulking. I, I know, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. When I first started working out, just to show I had no idea what I was doing, I did a two by 10 on every machine in the gym and called it a day. But eventually I found out about fitness YouTube, like people like Greg Doucette, More Plates, More Dates, and a bunch of other people. And then I was able to get my training down and dieting down. Or I guess, lack of dieting. But a video that absolutely changed my life was, was Dylan McKnight's How to Bulk video. And that video convinced me, that and Jeff Nippert's video convinced me to try bear mode out. And let's just say that changed my life. My whole idea was thinking was, I can't get enough food in. I'll have a meal or two and I'll be done. And I'm losing my genetic potential like crazy because I'm working out. I don't know what's working for me. I'm not getting in those calories and I'm wasting it. So I'm like, okay, here's what I can do. I have this genetic potential. I'm going through puberty. If I eat a bunch of food, my hormones would, you know, so my body would use that food. And then I would gain weight like crazy and use that weight to push more weight in the gym. And I mean, to be honest, it worked. I ended up benching 275. Well, I'll try to hit 275 tomorrow. I ended up squatting a good amount of weight. To be honest, I'm not crazy on squats. You know, I just do them for fun. But I deadlift 510. So the dirty bulk or going bear mode really did help me. If I didn't go bear mode, I'd probably still be at 115 pounds crying about how skinny I am. But for me, my bear mode diet basically consisted of, for the morning, I would have six Eggo waffles <laughs> with a load of syrup. For a snack, th now this is absolutely disgusting, but shout out Matt Does Fitness's brother for this tip. I would get a little yogurt can of the Danimals and then I would put about a tablespoon of olive oil on the top of it. It was gross, but that's that's how determined I was to gain this size. And then for lunch, we would rock with about like 20 pizza rolls. You know, they tasted good. I was just trying to get any food I could down. And I'm a college student and really didn't have the money to buy anything. And I didn't know how to use anything besides the oven or the microwave. And for drink with that, I would have a serious mass gainer. Now, let me tell you, that is absolutely disgusting, and I would not recommend a mass gainer to anyone. Those are nasty, but again, I just wanted to get the calories down, and that was the best way I knew how to at the time, with my limited knowledge. And then for dinner, let me put y'all on. I had a DiGiorno pizza every night to dinner. I'm pretty sure that's like a like 1,000 to 2,000 calories plus per pizza. And then you can't go all that a bear mode diet without the dessert. Okay, I'd go from either cookies to ice cream, you know, to anything. Now the sugar content and the sodium content was crazy and I felt like absolute dog shit doing this diet. But in that year alone, I went from 130 pounds to roughly 165. Now from the 165 point, I sort of just did a slower bulk you know, I was still eating in that caloric surplus, but I wanted to go a lot slower. And eventually I got to 175, which I'm at right now. And I think I performed the best at the 170 to 175 range. But eventually I'd like to get to 180 just for the aesthetics purposes to see how I look. And I just gonna, wanna go on the record and state that I do not think that bear mode is for everyone. If you're a power lifter trying to pack on some weight, I would definitely suggest bear mode. If you're somebody who is like me, severely underweight or anorexic, and they're trying to bulk up, I think bear mode's a good idea. Now, if you're over like 20% body fat and you're trying to go bear mode, it's just not a good idea. Don't do it. You know, there were definitely a lot of side effects to going bear mode from the sluggish nature I was having. I did have brain fog, and I just really didn't want to get out of bed. 
And those shakes made me just live on the toilet. But that's the story of how bear mode truly changed my life. And to be honest, I wouldn't change it back. So I think that'll pretty much wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.